we're going to uh, talk about hybrid ISE, uh, a little bit about how it works, so quite a lot about what advantages it provides, and uh, let's get going. Uh, there are some major storm fronts hitting IT organizations. One is the data deluge. Right? Customers, for reasons that I can't explain but I love, always seem to need more data. Right? Um, and that creates a performance gap because of that techie chart on the right. That represents what has happened to the I.O. density of basic disk drives over the last 20 years. A disk technology has made wonderful strides. In the last 20 years, disk capacity has increased 3,000 times. Disk performance has doubled. Okay? And what that does to request density, how many I.O.s per second you can apply against any given gigabyte or terabyte of data is it's killed it, right? That's a log curve. For the best disks you can buy, speed-optimized disks, which tend to be the smaller, faster disks in each generation, it's dropped by over two orders of magnitude, over a factor of 100, right? For the price-optimized and capacity-optimized disks, it's dropped three orders of magnitude. Okay? So you've got all this data and you can't get to it. Okay? And that's what ICE is about and that's what hybrid ICE is about. Um, is performance a niche market? Well, yeah, but it's a pretty big niche. Right? These numbers uh, uh, Alan may have showed you on his slide, they're based on a, a customer survey. 77% of the survey respondents said storage performance has not kept pace with capacity growth. Okay, and 78% of them said that water is wet. 54% uh, had one of their top concerns was performance in their IT infrastructure. And the last one's the most interesting number. 46% of them said that their applications are expected to need 5x the performance that they're currently getting in the future. Right? because they have figured out how to monetize performance in some way, and we want to help them do that. Uh, I.O. storms can arrive every day in your business. Um, loads in most businesses are unpredictable, and there are several things, trends in the IT industry, that are making it more so. And they are things like virtualization, which we have a slide on, things like the cloud, things like DVI, all of these things are very useful business operations and they all increase the unpredictability and the spikiness of workloads to your I.O. system. Right? Because virtualization, number one, means every one of your servers, instead of the good old days where people would buy a powerful server, run Windows NT on it and run a single application, Right? And the storage system could like, sit back and, and just handle it. Uh, now they take that same server and they run dozens of Windows NT applications. It's almost like Windows NT grew up. <laughs> right? um, and this is only going to get worse because not only do customers have a vested interest in increasing the amount of virtualization because it saves them money, right? but the chip manufacturers that drive this industry that every year feel the pressure to produce bigger and better chips so that people will buy them cannot make individual processors any faster. They have hit the wall, not in terms of their ability to do it, but because frequency, increasing the frequency of these chips increases their power. It's already hard enough to get the power, the heat out of these chips, so the only way that they can increase the power of the chips without increasing the heat coming out of the chips is to put more cores in them. Okay? And you've seen the, two, the dual core chips and the quad core chips and the eight core chips, and it's just beginning. Okay? You are gonna see Intel chips with 32 cores, 64 cores. What can you do with those cores except virtualize? 
because the guys who write applications haven't yet figured out how to exploit 32 cores for a single piece of software. Right? So this is only going to get worse. DVI is going to make you know, servers in the name of increasing utilization. It's going to make the servers that connect to your storage more powerful and also more unpredictable. When you're virtualizing like that, it means anybody can start running a machine and putting an application on it and bringing storage to its knees with that application. Right? And cloud is even worse because cloud is literally you're opening your, your entire compute infrastructure up as the equivalent of an old time sharing system. Hey, log in and run stuff. We can take it. Okay, well, sometimes the storage can't. So uh, those storm pictures that we had before were kind of Doppler radar pictures. A lot of you have gone on to you know, weather.com and seen Doppler radar pictures. We've got our own Doppler radar, okay? Uh, Jeff wrote it. We're going to be doing a demo of it. It is the performance plugin for ICE Analyzer. I don't know if it has any more specific name. It's really called the uh, Hot Sheet Upgrade uh, page that allows you to uh, look at your I.O. profile. In other words, see where those I.O. storms are located. We actually will monitor that and uh, record it, watch it, and then determine which areas of the uh, spinning media need to be migrated over to the SSD. Right. And this tool, independent of hybrid ISE, is a, provides a valuable insight into your IOs and how they are affecting the controller and how they are affecting application performance. Okay? If hybrid ISE didn't exist, we'd be advertising this tool as a powerful new feature from Zyatech. As it is, this tool is something that we're mostly going to use internally to show how cool hybrid ICE is. Right? Customers will find a lot more innovative uses for it. Um, but predicting storms is good, right? Our lives have improved since people have been able to predict storms. But ask anybody in Atlanta or starting today in Boston, right? A better thing to do would be to avert them, all right? What you want to do is change the weather, right? And that is what hybrid ice is about. Thank you.